Hi everyone, thanks for joining us here today in the studio. Happy to have you all. Um, let's see, I have a what I think is a really beautiful reference photo selected for today's demo. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. I have a little bit of a plan, which I'll share with you in a minute. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, we just released a new testimonials video on YouTube and also a packing for Italy video is also posted on uh, YouTube. Uh, you would have had to get the links in your email to see those, I think. Um, maybe the testimonials is um, public, I believe it is, on YouTube. So check those out, they're really nice. And um, we also, on the monthly uh, members Facebook group, we're starting a new challenge on Monday, 2020, so 20 paintings in 20 days and 20 minutes each. So it's a little bit of a fun spring challenge. So if you are a member of the monthly group, you can join us in that, that challenge, which is really fun. What else have I got going? I'm Tony Elaine's gonna be in the house pretty soon. We're getting ready for him. He'll be here May 7th through 9th. His class is full right at the moment. I don't really anticipate any drops at this point, but um, you never know. So if you're um, in the neighborhood, if you're a uh, local and um, just maybe watch for that, we'll send an email if we do have a cancellation. Um, okay, uh, today's demo, uh, it's, we're, we're getting a few days here and there of spring, um, but not consistent. I was actually speaking to Corey Pitkin yesterday, and um, they had snow where he is. He's in upstate New York, so like three or four inches, so wow. We don't have anything like that. It's just a little chilly. Um, okay, so I just wanted to share with you a couple things on this piece. Let me see if I can screen share this, um, this iPad here. Because I did a little analysis of it. Let's see if I can get it going. Let's see. Sorry, Bryce. All right, there it goes. Yeah, that should do it. Um, and then get back to Procreate. Okay, we got it? Okay, yeah. So I really want to see this beautiful but rather complicated image in the simplest possible terms. So I want to see that the, the grouping of trees is kind of essentially one larger shape. I was also considering a couple things here. So I do like the, the car, the, the yellow um, kind of SUV. And then in the distance, there's some small dark shapes. And, and then there's a couple of dark shapes up there by the, um, on the right hand side up towards the roof line. And I think that those should be, um, diminished so let me see here so that's the these guys right here let me let me get another tool so i can show you what i mean um let's see is that gonna i gotta need to get a different this one and this will work so these these shapes up here i don't i don't want so many high contrast sm small high contrast shapes so that's why on this side, I, I kind of eliminated those. And this, this one here, I probably will leave in a couple of these, but I, I, I want to be careful not to get too much of, too many small shapes that are really high contrast. Um, but, you know, I may want some, some bits, we'll see. But I just want to keep that in mind. And then that cast shadow of the trees, I want to keep that nice and airy and lots of 
uh, reflected light bouncing into those cast shadows. So the trick there is to get them dark enough and, and kind of colorful, probably more colorful than they appear to be in the reference photo. So I'll be doing, taking a little bit of liberty there, a little bit of artistic license here and there. I also cropped it, you can see, to a square, because I love this square. The square is so um, dynamic. So there's, if you think about, there's sort of pressure coming from all sides. It's sort of um, giving the image this um, kind of dynamic um, kind of feel of, of, of movement or sort of inner, inner, inner balance. So I like that about the square. Quick question. Um, yep. Uh, have you used this reference photo before? No, I have not. I just took this. I we I painted things similar to this, but I have not used this one before. Um, but uh, this is the, a neighborhood um, kind of near nearby my um, my place that's fun to walk over. The, people have beautiful gardens, so it's fun to walk around in that neighborhood and this especially this time of year. Okay, so I'm going to put this kind of where I can gaze at it if I want to. I've also printed out the reference photo and cropped it because I just like to hold them in my hand. That's just kind of my, my thing. And I'll get my hair out of the way. I'll just start painting today. Get right into it. Hope everybody's well and also getting the chance to get to the easel. Righty. So let's see here. I'll go for the blue spruce to start. And I'm just eyeballing a square. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then I am thinking about those trees they, the baseline, I don't want them too low. I want them to start up here because I want that, I want to have plenty of room for the cast shadows and whatnot. And let's see how I, just thinking about how I simplified everything. And in my, did something like that. Just. And can you remind us of the size of this paper? Is this right from the the book that you took me by? No, it's not. It's a it's a large sheet that I cut down. Large sheet. You, cut down. you got that from Dakota. Yeah. This is yeah. I pretty much buy most all of my pastel supplies from them. They're so close, and um, I just like them. Let's see, let's get this guy. So I'm kind of going at this with uh, with a little with both a line and tone. There's a dark shape on that one side. And so then here's the fence line. Let's see, get this to come out and, and then yeah, shadow. And then the cast shadow kind of goes up on this fence and a couple key spots. And then actually a little lower. Maybe does something like that. And 
There's a doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of eyeballing some of this perspective. And that that's a little off right there. That's okay. And get that. And then the vehicle. Am I going to be able to get that in there? It's something like right there. Okay. I think that's a decent start. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that for now. Okay. Okay. So what are my challenges here? I've this I I I don't think I have the the angle quite right, but I think I can um, adjust it as I go along here. I'm going to start off with some kind of turquoisey emerald green in that grass. So this is more saturated than I'm going to end up. Now I'm going to grab some, this is almost, this is almost black. Okay. Now I want to start getting some of that sidewalk color going. In the street. Just to answer Kelton's question, this demo will be available later. It'll be on, uh, it'll be on YouTube. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Once it, it yeah, it doesn't take very long for it to be. Um, yeah, you can watch the um, replay for sure. There's a lot of discussion about paper on the chat today. Different types. Yeah, it's popular. <laughs> yeah, everything. It has all different qualities. Yeah. Now, Tony got a big delivery of paper. Yep. Right to, right to, yep. right here. Right He's, to the studio. Bunch yeah. of LeCarte, right? No, it's actually not LeCarte. Is, what's his, that's usually um, his the, choice? Um, I think there's a little bit of LeCarte in there, but he's been using um, Pastel Premier lately. Very cool. So just getting a little bit of this, these uh, just real loose and light right now, just kind of getting some of these shapes, just orienting myself. It's a lot, lot going on in this one. Got a question from Jennifer. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, I noticed that Marla uses a printed out reference versus a digital image. I'm uh, using, I have both. Yeah, There's both. a digital image right here and I'm holding it in my hand because that is something that I always did from the time I started painting. And so it's just a comfort zone thing for me more than anything else. Um, and in terms of the, you know, there's a quite a lot of difference between what, how the digital image is gonna appear and how, um, the printed out one. The printed one is just easier for me to, to look at the shapes. The digital one is better for color. So, um, th so I have both. And so what kind of printer do you use to print out? <laughs> it's just a Canon just printer. A Canon. Yeah, it's not, On regular it's not, so. it's nothing special. It's nothing. There's no magic to it at all. It's just. Kind of want to um, right now. I I need to get a little more playful with this, you guys. So I'm starting to get I'm starting to futz with it. So I'm just gonna start getting in here a little bit more. Get. Little more color in these. It's better. And then Was there a reason why you chose this warm toned paper? Um, yeah, I did because I do see quite a lot of pink in the sidewalk and I thought that that would work out well for that. I mean, sometimes I'm real intentional about the color of the paper. Other times it's, you know, frankly a matter of what have I got in that drawer that I can use today. Um, so it, but today I did, you know, kind of spend a, a put some thought into it. Let me get the back of this car. Let's 
something like that to start out anyway. All right, let me get really want these shadows to be cool, interesting. Starting to get there. Got to start kind of turning on the lights a little bit here, kind of really in the shadows, but that's all right. Get, this is the distant kind of tree line. Haven't really gotten any sky in yet. There's that little structure right here. It's given me some fits, then I'll figure that out in a bit. Okay. Now, thinking about the this tree. So wanting, no, that's a little light. How about this? All right, so now when I'm talking about turning on the lights, I want to get the, the lights, the really bright light side of the fence, the light on the sidewalk, and then I'm going to start um, knit, knitting the sky in there. That sidewalk color, I mean the fence color, it's really pretty light in value, almost white. Here. Oops. Some little bits up in here. Just I'm not gonna try to to draw the, the this these architectural elements. I'm just looking at the the shapes of the lights. And just another reminder, you will not be at IAPS this year. I will not be at IAPS. 
but you have been in the past many times. Yeah. <laughs> I actually went to IAPS. Uh, yeah, IAPS you came with the year me. Before. Yeah, the year before, yeah. This is, a, this is a grand old time. It was really fun. It really, it really is. I just need a break, needed a break from it. Okay. Okay, okay. I got um I don't want to get into drawing that, so I'm going to leave it be for now. I don't need to. I'm going to, my, there'll be enough um, other um, information there that's going to be fine. At the end of the sidewalk, the sidewalk kind of ends right, right in there. And then there's a dark back in there. This over a little bit it needs to come over. Okay, so now coming forward with this a light in the sidewalk. Joy has a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, how does the painting not get muddy when you put whites and lights over darks? Because my darks are really thin. Because I, um, yeah, my darks are really thin. So they're not, they're not, I don't, um, I don't get muddy because I'm starting out thin. It, a lot of it really is knowing which, you know, being really familiar with the pastels and what brand's going to, you know, go over what brand um, and, and still work. So that's, for, to me, that's just really mileage, really you know, getting familiar with everything that we're using and um, feeling it. So that's start, starting to come together nice. That's good. Looks like I can go a little bit brighter on the back of this car and still have it feel like it's in shadow. That's not bad. Cool. That's great. And then some lights here if you want. Yeah, I want this even lighter. A couple 
couple spots in the grass that's really bright. Right, starts to come together. Mm. Just this. And this. All right, now I'm going to play with the sky a little bit. And um, I'm going to start out pretty light. And then I'm going to switch to something a little bit bluer. Got this kind of tangle of branches and whatnot right in there, so I'm trying to figure out how to get it. Kind of say that, and but but do it simply. So I'm going to come in with a little bit of a wash of a purpley gray right here. That's kind of what I see it as. I'm coming back over. So making it, breaking it, making it again. And um, let's see, where's my, here we go. And right. another quick question from mm -hmm. Jenny. Um, you print most of your photos on photo paper, correct? Yeah, it's on, yeah, they're on photo paper. They don't really, you know, it, sometimes I'll, I'll print them out on just write, you know, just um, copy paper. If I don't, um, you know, it doesn't really, I'm, like I said, I'm really looking at the printed out version just for the shapes. So it doesn't, they don't necessarily need to be on really good quality paper. Got a little bit of a mess here, so I got to kind of parse this out. Let's take a little time and... With my sky holes, get just I just get a little impatient. Ah, I want to hurry up. In there, 
So I'll, I'll work on that in a bit. I'm going to come up and get um, a few other things going. little space between the, the trees. I think that's kind of nice. Um, and then there's a little kind of bit of plant that's orange right there. And then there's a tiny little figure way back here. I actually think would be nice to try to get in there. Something like that. It's kind of kind of fun. Um, what else? What else do I want to do? I think I have this a little short. Look at that. Let's see if I want to change that or not. And then I want to um, do a couple things. Get okay. What did I want? I want. Let's see. Bit of this vegetation across here. And I have to I've got a few things I have to work out here, but overall I I liking what's going on with the 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 thing that's the central about the piece is the the cast shadows here the this drawing the car is a little bit high a little bit off but um that's okay I don't think that it's a deal breaker So far, so good. And this is this kind of tangle that's going on right there. These, this is what I was thinking that I was going to um, not include as much these these guys, or at least the, as much contrast. And I think that's right. I don't need that much contrast right up here. Um, I don't think the, the fence is reading quite the way I want it to read. Let's work on that a little bit. And um, I 
And now I'm a little bit feeling like I should have spent a tiny bit more time on the drawing side, but right there on this, this guy, but it's okay. Start to come together. I want to about. Sometimes you can get away with less drawing <laughs> and I, I feel like I'm kind of trying to get away with it and maybe not quite. That's not bad. That's kind of just getting the flavor of that fence with the little bit more. Okay, I'm kind of picking on that spot and I don't want to. Get a little bit of that. This is almost the color of the paper right here. It's always handy to have that. Okay, I'm looking at this. I, I, I feel like I had a really good start and then it kind of went. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do to bring it back around. Um, one thing, I think this shadow shape needs to be a little more simplified moving forward. And maybe I need to lighten this up a little bit. I just dropped us down. We don't have internet. Oh, came back. Oh, boy. We had a little buffering there for a second. Yeah, over yeah. Line too, so don't be alarmed.
think. It did what? Oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm kind of kind of getting there now. Start to make some sense of some of this. This this is kind of unresolved over here, but that's all right. Feels a little like it needs to have more attention than, than maybe I'm willing to give it today. Let's see. All right, let's pump up some of this color just a little bit now. Yeah, we actually did have a recent upgrade on our internet around here. Remember that last this time last year? Oh, yeah. We were fixing everything. Yeah. Upgrading to 5G and all that. Yeah, there were a few times when they were working and we were getting ready to do a live stream and we were like... <laughs> we were sweating. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, it all worked out. some of this fun color in here. And um, A little question from Jennifer. Yeah. Can Marla talk about the shadow color she's chosen, specifically seeing her darkened shadows on the grass, but not the same shadows on the pavement, and wondering about the choice? So the grass, the local color of the grass is darker than the pavement. So as that shadow crosses over onto the pavement, it's not going to be as dark as it is on the grass. So you have to, you know, respect the light and the, you have to respect the local color, the value of the local color of what the shadow is, is lying on. I'm not saying that I have it exactly perfect in this. I wouldn't say that, but I think it's pretty, um, it's pretty good. I like this. This is a little bit of a mess, but um, it's possible to get that to come together, I think.
fact, I, I wish those shadows were a little even lighter. These guys is on the pavement. The a photograph is always going to make that a cast shadow appear darker than it is and not give the quality of reflected light from the sky um, um, spilling into that shadow. And you really want that in order to have it be a living, breathing scene. Good. Are you using uh, new pastel for the details on the tree branches? I did use a new pastel there, but just really um, sparingly. little red on the car is kind of fun. Just kind of echo some of that. That's starting to get there. I just, this, this was a little messy, but it's starting to come together. Yeah, this needs work. And I almost feel like I want to pull it out take it out and start again because this little structure isn't quite right but um, I think for now I'll, I'll leave it it sort of works Let's see, what else do I want to do? All right, I'm going to step back, take a look, see what I've got. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. How about... Light on top of that car.
Amen. It's fun. All right, guys. I think that that is just about it for for this one. Some kind of kind of losing steam. Should we take a look at it? There, there's part of me that wants to just pull all this out and redo it, but so maybe I will later. We'll redo the fence. But I'm happy with some of the painting on the cast shadow and the grass. It's got that, that quality of light. It's good. Okay. Well, be sure to, to check out the uh, testimonials video that's on YouTube. It's really nice. And um, those of you that are joining me in Italy, the packing video should give you some good ideas, I hope tips and tricks. I'm by no means a super experienced packer traveler, but I do I have uh, traveled to teach workshops for many, many years. So I'm pretty adept at getting that balance of the art supplies and the and clothes and whatnot. So that's kind of a fun video. And um, we've got some really fun stuff coming up in the next few months. So stay tuned. We'll be back at you with another live stream pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, I hope you're having a great spring and um, be sure to like and subscribe our videos. We really appreciate it. And so, yeah, um, you can catch me on Instagram as well. So um, see you guys soon.